hey, there's something coming up. I've not agreed upon. This is not how I want to relate. Let's have a conversation. Yeah. But I'm, the first thing I want to show you is how to fuck up a relationship. I just like came up the other day when I saw a couple fighting and I said, okay, you know, this is how you fuck up your relationship. And this is how it goes. The first thing to fuck up your relationship is you make up an assumption about your relationship yeah? something you have not agreed upon so you assume something about your relationship that means you know it can be pretty much anything so anybody can make up any assumption about anything in a relationship so we have a romantic dream we're happy ever after you know you are committed to me. You don't talk to anybody else. You, um, you ask me for permission before you go out and go on the street. Our, you know, whatever the assumption is, you, you can just fill that in, in your own uh, gaps. So uh, this is the first thing, how to fuck up a relationship, make an assumption about your relationship. Anybody can make up an assumption about anything. Second, change your assumption into an expectation. So that you assume that your relationship has this and that value and you expect the other person to know this assumption as something that you base your relationship upon. So, and because you can do that, you should do that. So the word should, whenever there is a should going on, it's actually based on already an assumption and somebody said you should do this you should do that it's an assumption translated in an expectation you know nobody can ask me what i should and um or tell me what i should and i cannot tell anybody else what they should because when you look into the base it's interference in our autonomy so then let's go into number th in, in the third part is Wait till your expectation is not fulfilled. So the other person does not do what your assumption-based expectation want the other person to do. Um, I promise that every evidence will do. So you just have to look out for any um, unfulfilled expectations you have and you will get the proof of number four that you getting resentful makes you feel right. So, and then you can, this feeling of being right, you can project that on the other person that they're responsible for not have fulfilled up the expectation <laughs> of getting resentful. And fifth is we allow ourselves to create a revenge that is fully justified and because it feel right because our expectation is not fulfilled and it's the other person's fault. <laughs> so this is um, how to fuck up and get your relationship in trouble. That's how most relationships are based on and actually going down the drain. I'd like to share the screen with you about um, the low drama and high drama map. So the low drama triangle is everything where shadows happening in the relationship. This is where there's no ownership about feelings and thoughts and there's, there's people can't feel, there's no permission given, there's no agreement, there is no limits and boundaries. There's literally the entire foundation not there. Yeah? Low drama is, you know, you know the, the, maybe the triangle of disempowerment is pretty much the same. So the low drama triangle, where the feelings and the, and the emotions part of that. So where fear and insecurity is based on we rescue and we want to be rescued. Yeah, so it's the it's the um, uh, uh, kind of being in the pleaser position or need to help other people out or need to um, make sure that uh, other people around us are that conscious and that aware how we need them to be that we're feeling good about ourselves so the second one is the feeling of sadness 
what most people describe as weakness. And this is the, 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 the victim thing where we're putting ourselves in a state of we are not capable of. And it's uh, somebody else doing something and they're responsible for how we feel. You know? So the, 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 the projection, the um, making the other person responsible for what they do is just the, on how we feel is their fault. And then we have the anger dynamic, uh, what is kind of not really expressed as ownership of feelings is more like this pay, piece of um, it leaks out as an aggression. It doesn't it doesn't come through as owned anger. It's just like, no, you make me angry. And because you make me angry, that's the evidence that you have done something wrong and I have to protect myself. And therefore, my anger is justified because I have to protect myself against you because you are wrong. So this is the low drama triangle, what is the, you know, the, the, the blamer, it's just you should, you have to and, and make the other person wrong. So this is when I'm talking about feelings and emotions, there are this, this four core feelings, what is fear, sad, and anger, but the fourth is missing. And that's joy. And that's the joy that comes out of the, mid, out of the middle of it. And that's the joy of creating drama. <laughs> so the joy of creating drama is where we um, um, going always this downward spiral that relationship is relationship and it doesn't work and it gives us evidence that there is no relationship functional. <laughs> so um, I just want to stop it here for a moment and low drama is this thing where shadows in, in relationship is happening and then so what's what's the solution there? And this is just like my own experience when I'm when I want to relate with other people. It's my responsibility to create a relationship agreement dynamic, and this is where I where I'm sitting down with people when I arrived here. You know, it's not like okay, I'm invited and then I just can, I do everything what I want here. So we just ha we were sitting down and have an agreement about that. So. What's the no-go? What is it that you don't want me to do here? When there is a limit, you just let me know. As the same um, he said as well. Um, if you want me to do something in specific, tell me and then I'll see if I'm relating to that. And the, the other side as well. So when I'm here, you know, it's not your responsibility to make me feel comfortable and home. You know, that's my responsibility. Um, you don't have to please me being here doing it, doing the right things. So we just create this agreement and I do that agreement with everybody I'm relating with. Yeah. Partly or fully, you know, with my lover, I have a very clear agreement about the base and we were sitting down and we actually were writing it down together and saying, okay, the, the first agreement is self-love and self-care. I'm responsible I'm radical self-responsible for my well-being. So are you. I'm responsible for staying open. So are you. you know, I'm, I'm um, responsible for my body, for my feelings, for my thoughts, for my beliefs, for everything. That's my responsibility. And you cannot give me permission to do that. Nobody can. And neither can I. Yeah. So the, the, this is the base of the first one the second one is the permission thing i give you my my lover and holistic permission to touch me whenever however wherever she wants with any parts on her body and do to me whatever she feels like with my limits here don't do anything to get a reaction out of me because it's shadow same the opposite so when we have this thing I ask for the same permission and we taking care of our limits between us you know, so if there's something reached a limit then okay this is how much I can give that's how much you can give and that's the that's the end of um, 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 let's have a, have a blackout at the moment so, um, so so when we when we have this agreement then we then we know how far we can go so we just know where the, where the permission line is. And then the, the next one as well, the third one, if I want you to do something, 
I will ask you. And if you want me to do something, you need to ask. And we take care of our limits. And then the fourth one is just like, of course, we are loving, caring beings. And I just want the best for you. I just want you to be happy. And I give gifts. And when I give my gift, it's for free. I don't expect anything back. And when you give your gift, it's for free. Um, you can't expect anything back, but I'm not obliged to fulfill any expectations. Because this is not the agreement. The agreement is that um, you give a gift and it's for free and you give because you have, you give because you can. And, um, and the moment it's given, it's gone. What the other person is doing with it is their choice. It's not, it's, it's not mine anymore. So if I would put my, my, my gift on an, on, an, um, on an attachment, then it wouldn't be a gift anyway. So, so when this four agreements in place, then, so when they are in place, then um, we, we, we can enter um, through the no drama place, so of ownership, where we actually transform fear and curiosity and sadness and comfort, anger and energy and joy into play. So when we just actually are capable of taking ownership of the feelings that are going on in the relationship in this base of agreement, then the low drama triangle can transform into a high drama triangle. And this is, um, please not to misunderstood, the high drama is not more drama. <laughs> the high drama is not like, <laughs> no, we just totally kill ourselves and throwing kind of little missiles and, and, and shit. <laughs> <laughs> two words no no the high drama is that um it's more like a high creation place yeah so i just call it that way because clinton calls it that way so you have the same triangle there where your fear from a place of ownership um creates this um uh magician uh or the the, the magician based on um on our superpower, you know, so we can use our fear to stay present and being focused with the person we are with in situation. It doesn't matter what. So my fear is not keeping me away from relating. And then sadness becomes into the archetype of the lover's energy and the where real intimacy can be built. So my sadness is an important emotion and feeling to engage with and show how I feel, what's going on here when I'm sad. And anger as well is, um, so the so-called warrior energy and the um, protector so that my anger or when there is anger, it's not leaking out as an aggression. Anger has this dynamic of, um, hey, I will use all my power to protect what we create. It's just being for the place of, um, uh, full embodiment of it and then there comes the joy in place and that's the joy of the visionary leader and the creator and that's where the apex dynamic is happening so when i when i talk about the joy of the creation it is that what two people want to bring into their life where they actually going into yeah i have a direction this is what i want to do with you that's where we want to go let's create and use our power of our energies yeah so of our emotions into manifesting what we want to create in life and i will protect that with my with my with my soul you know I, and and and, and using this dynamic of intimacy and ownership of that's what we're going to do here. And I'm full responsible for all feelings and everything that I'm doing here. All right. Any reflections? Anything else that anybody would like to say here? I want to show you one piece that I digged out the other day uh, about relationship. So mom's belly is the first relationship that we have. So she is God. This is where we, where we get kind of just like created into. And, um, and we're totally radical dependent on this relationship. If mom is not taking care of us, we're dead. Yeah. 
And that's true for the first, I don't know, six years or so. And then we create the second relationship that's the family home. You know, there are siblings and family and uh, you know, friends. And so our relationship with our environment, home environment. And then we actually grow up, we go into puberty, getting a little bit older. And then we go in the third layer of relationship, once is the shopping zone or the um, dating zone. Who is doing what with whom? You know, we're just trying to figure out first relationships with other boys and girls and other people and friendships. And, and then we're having all this kind of stuff going on based on our family dynamics, how relationships should be. So we're projecting all our relationship with our siblings and with our parents and uh, into onto our other onto our onto other people and then most of us have just uh, recognized that doesn't work very well so and then instead of um, going into autonomy we're creating the so-called fusion and codependency relationship that it's still based on family so and in this place it's just like where we have the romantic dream, ownership, kind of just like, no, you're mine and I'm yours and you don't relate with anybody else. We are kind of fear-based, monogamist, heterosexual normative. This is how um, we should relate, how we have seen that in our family home. This is how it's right. Till some of us waking up out of that. And that's number five, that's the adulthood. And the adulthood is claiming, is declaring the first layer of um, the, 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 the base as a foundation, you know, ownership. This is just high drama. I'm responsible for my feeling, you're responsible for your feelings. And all of a sudden there's something going on that feels really free and liberated in between people. And when this is happening, adulthood, ownership and um, uh, feeling connected, then we're just going straight into number six, what is where higher principles can come through. So where we can create with each other higher principles. And based on this higher principles, we're creating a project, whatever that project is. Some people having family, some people creating a business, some people become co-creators, some people create a workshop, some people go on a vacation, some people do, you know, um, I don't know, having meetings and just like talking about stuff in the world, activism, you know, we're just like declaring what is working for us and what isn't. And then out of that, we have the chance to transform in the level of high drama to create something new as other people in an environment how we want to live in. So the joy of creation is, is a frequency that is resonating on our cellular structure that we say, well, fuck, that feels nice to be with you. It feels great to create here because you are in ownership and I'm in ownership and we can use our feelings, our emotions as a resource to engage and creating something together. And this is where negotiation and the entire engagement system, so the permission and the agreement part comes in, because now if I need permission for something, I can always make an add-on to ask for that. Hey, can I use your car today? Hey, maybe stay in your house when you're on vacation and just like inviting my crazy techno friends and we're having a, a drug party in, in your garden. <laughs> or um, will you just come over and help me cleaning my bathroom because I'm sick? So, so whatever the structure is, then we have add-ons that are based on this two question, may I and will you, that allows people to create real relationship with another because then we are not assumption based on what other people should or shouldn't do with them. We are based on ownership of where we are at. <laughs> Okay, so then I would like to invite you to sit relaxed back, take something in your hands, whatever that is. I have a glass here. Mm, so for the next I don't know, 
four or five minutes. Just feel into your into your body, feel into your thoughts, and your feelings and emotions and all that talking and blah 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 and, and feel into what was resonating. And then bring all your attention, your awareness, just back to your hands. And let all the other sensations just be there where they are. Hmm. We'll just tap into this sensual, tingleish, pleasant experience there on the skin. We'll just drink it all up. The joy. Present is available. The joy of being a body, having a body. The joy of feeling with your hands, using your body. that there's a very experience with your skin to feel while you are in action. This is your base. That's your first relational agreement that you can make with yourself to stay open and feel, stay connected and feel whenever, wherever, however. Independent from anybody else. Self-love, self-care. Your base is always there. You can choose to exit it. And you can share that with others. If you want to, if they want to. So that's the first agreement, the first pillar. This is where it starts. This needs to be in place. And you and then anybody else you want to relate with, just to some degree. And there's always more possible. It's always a deeper layer to it. Hmm.
So then I invite you to slow down till you stop, stay there for a moment. And just let that experience of your skin just create a little bit more of a solid base in yourself. Another little drop of embodiment. That's where it all starts. When you slowly and gently opening up your eyes, when your awareness back to the screen, and if you feel like keeping that object in your hand, please go for it. Have a beautiful weekend. See you next time, and uh, bye bye. <laughs>